Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're playing the game Power World and I just wanted to show you my current build and my second build. We'll be looking at that also today. I just wanted to really show you if you haven't bought in the game or you're actually just starting the game uh, or what you can do in the you know building wise in the decor setup too. Uh, so we're just going to, I'm on my flying mount here. I'm still low level. So, I, I mean, I don't uh, have the greatest mount uh, that you can get. But I am uh, happy that I can uh, fly around now. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of it's kind of neat that um, how, how it works, you know, in this game, the flying. And what's also nice is you never really crash, even when uh, your mount runs out of uh, energy, because even uh, you won't drown either. The, the the mount will just sit on the water top, so it's really cool. So this is the top of my tower that just looks out into the what would be the sunset uh, when the sun, you know, because that's where my base is is facing, uh, or the back end of it is facing where the where the game sun sets. So it uh, worked out, uh, this location is working out well for me. So let's go inside and I'll show you my basic layout. And um, we'll go from there. All right, we'll drop down. All right, so this is the front door. Now, if I get raided, they normally will channel up through this opening. And what I found here, because my entire workforce is right here, they the raiders die within within this area here where I'm standing. They they don't make it. They don't even make it close to the fountain. They just they get instantly melted. So this this layout's been working out for me. So I've got my hot springs here. I've got my fountain, and then my entire factory is right here. So everything that I need to do in the game up to my current level can be d done in this, uh, what is it, a f uh, five by five section of my base. And I'm pretty much getting anything or, or anything I can currently get currently, I can get it with, with ease. You know, the automated stuff like the, the wheat and the berries. I mean, this this has been going really smooth for me. I mean, the, the way these uh, pals have been working here, I have not had, uh, production flow issues at all. So what I've done here in the back end, uh, I had to actually expand my base just to put these extra eggs in. I actually got to go out and do some egg hunting today. I was doing some breeding. I have to actually put the breeding uh, pen back down. I, I pick it up and put it down depending on if I'm going to use it or not. This is uh, my bedroom area. And how I got the fires to float up like that is I put a barrel underneath them. I put the, and then I built the barrel, then I put the uh, fire on the barrel, and then I deleted the barrel. And then you get these raised fire lanterns. I just find that the fire pits are just easier to use than the, the torches because the torches require one of your fire pals to light them. So I just go around and I call it the hobo way. Uh, and you know just kind of raise them This area here is where my ranch goes down when I'm using it or when I need it I guess I could call my pal in so I'll put the ranch down when it's just not something that I use a lot I, Or I've got surplus of wool So let's just go upstairs here. I put some more eggs here on the on the balcony and then I've got another balcony on this side that goes up that also has eggs on it. And then here I go into uh, the bar and grill that I made. The Tarka Zone bar and grill. Then I've got my public restroom. Public restrooms throw the shit out the window. So I made this restroom here with... Uh, the decor that they give you in the game. Now you unlock decor as you level. So just uh, keep that in mind. You, some of this stuff, if you're low level or just got the game, you won't be able to make right off. You'll have to spend your uh, technology points in unlocking it. And then this here, I haven't really put much decor up here 
I mean, it, basically, we were already up there uh, with when we were on the uh, the pal flying up there. So I got a couple statues here looking down, and then I've got a statue right above me that looks down. So there's three statues right here. And uh, that's really it, folks. I mean, as I unlock more decor, I'll actually add some more to the area. So let's just quickly fast travel over to my mining camp, which is right here at uh, 2 negative 83. All right. So this is just a mining camp. This is, I built this just so that, um, oh, I got some guys that are hungry. How can they be hungry? I mean, there should be enough berries. Sometimes I, I notice that, that it's either a glitch with the matrix. Yeah, they got plenty. That sometimes they, they kind of get glitched and they won't do anything until I show up. That sometimes happens. But what this camp is, is just a remote location that has the ore node spawns. So I think there's like six of them here. And then what happens is, is the workers just work them. And then I've got um, pals that just put the items in a box. I actually have to get rid of the second box. So this is the box I want to use. So they've got 100, 103 in that box. But I'm thinking, because I had forgotten that I had this second one. I got to get rid of this one. Uh, and this one has, oh my goodness, look at how much this one has. So, so basically they auto get this, you know, they're doing it as part of their perks and part of what they're, they're designed to do. This guy, is he dead? It looks like he's, he must have been raided here. This, this location does get raided uh, quite often. And what's nice is, uh, let me see if he's... No, he's just weakened, hungry, and fractured. So I'll have to bring some medicine. How the medicine works in this game is you've got to make it, and then you got to pull the pal into your your list. And then once they're in... Oh, I don't need this pal up here. Once they're in your list, you feed them the medicine. And that's how that works. So I have a feeling that that, uh, that one there. Now, I can trick it out by... Or I can get him back into the workforce by pulling him or her out of the workforce and then dropping them back in and it basically kind of resets their uh their stuff you know their their how they go about what they're supposed to be doing now obviously i've got some uh concerns here between the hungry the fractured the ultra so i have to bring some medicine down here and and, and juice them up Oh, and it looks like I've got some uh, pals that are without beds. Okay, so I put more pals down than I... Yeah, I had, I had started to convert the, the, the beds, and I never... Late last night, and I never got to the point where I had made 13 of them. So I think I just have to pull... Let me just, for the sake of... Uh, let me just pull these guys out. So that leaves me with two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That should be plenty of beds. No, uh, I guess I gotta pull just. Uh, I don't really need this, um, that pal there. So we'll pull these pals up. Uh, and uh, I don't need that. I actually did need, just I do need a nature pal to to do the field or to plant the field. All right. So I think that uh, should fix my lack of bed situation. Yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't noticed that. I had kind of rebuilt this whole structure last night and started throwing beds down. And I should have counted how many I put down versus how many pals I had. Sorry, guys, that you had no beds. All right, well, that was really it for this video. Actually, let me just bring you up to the top here. What I do is, is when I get raided, they channel through up here and what I do is I normally have this door closed and what happens is all my pals will come to this door and then all the raiders get piled up here and then I swing the door open and all the raiders get melted right here 
So, you know, that's uh, how I am doing it because I can't be raided on the other sides. I just can't be because of the cliff. So if they do spawn down there, it's just a timer and then they lose and I win the raid. So if they come through this way, they get stopped at the door and, and then I just swing the door open. And it looks like, you know, the door needs to be repaired and I'll bring some repair uh, uh, screwdrivers down here. Uh, you know, the, uh, the syndicate guys, if you've actually got them in your workforce, uh, they, if they're out working, you know, the humans, and if you have the screwdrivers, the, the, the repair um, screwdrivers, they will auto repair your stuff for you. So you don't have to do it yourself. All right. Well, hopefully this video finds you well. Thank you for joining me. And this has been the Tarkus Zone.